another year for Hollywood special effects blockbusters with everything from Titanic to Flubber. But Mumbai has its own movie industry, Hollywood. And as Howard Stableford found out two years ago, they're fighting back with their own special effects extravaganzas. One of the things I like about India is that they're pretty much true to their own culture. You won't find a McDonald's here in Bombay, yet. They don't tend to listen to Michael Jackson or Phil Collins on the radio, and they're big fans of their own homegrown movies. Bollywood churns out 800 films every year, that's twice as much as Hollywood. And in any one week, there are 10 films being made. One for the stalls, please. 35 rupees. Thank you. But after years of successful song and dance formula films, the picture hasn't been too bright for this multi-million pound industry. Last year, Jurassic Park was released here. It was the first in a wave of American special effects blockbusters dubbed into Hindi that stormed the box office and made Bollywood filmmakers look positively prehistoric. Well, reeling but not down, Bollywood is fighting back. Raj Kumar is the first Bombay film to mix Hollywood-style special effects with India's own particular brand of filmmaking. Anil Kapoor, one of Bollywood's biggest stars, sees special effects as a way of reinforcing India's mythology and culture. We have tremendous background and culture of mythology. Now with this special effects we can make great mythological films and mythological characters and create those kind of visuals and the, we have got the oldest culture and we can recreate that old culture with these special effects. The director of Raj Kumar, Pankaj Parasha, is the man who's dragging the Bombay film industry into the 21st century. I think the main thing was trying to convince the people around me that this thing is going to work, that there is no going back now, we have to take the step forward. So I did a one minute sequence of a song where uh, they're dancing in a huge palace. That I shot it against blue and I created the whole palace behind them. There is no palace of that size and there is no way I would be able to light them up at that distance if I shot in a real palace. This sequence was enough to convince Pankaj's backers to invest in the computer technology now being used to create further effects for the film. Uh, see, what we have here is a program which is 3D Studio. So I have this in my house and I used to keep making sets. Just fooling around after shooting, come home and make some kind of sets which are not physically possible. There's a villain's introduction, so I wanted something dramatic. Now, I shot him against blue background and the set was, this was made here, the virtual set. And to make it more interesting, we put fire on top. And then we make the fire move as we're coming down. So if you really took this shot, you'll have to take it with the helicopter and going down at a fantastic speed. And because you stop here, everybody in the helicopter would die instantly. <laughs> Aren't you just copying Hollywood techniques? See, you, our audience is totally different from Hollywood. If you say that Hollywood has used color in uh, 30s or 20s and used sound at the end of 20s, if we use sound and we use color, you can't say that we're copying Hollywood. We're just adapting the technique to suit our audiences and our kind of films. Action! Action! The film industry here is hoping that their new recipe for success using homegrown special effects will lure Indian audiences back to the cinemas in their droves. But like their counterparts in the computer software industry, Bombay filmmakers have their sights set on a much bigger picture. I think uh, Hollywood uh, producers uh, should watch out because the budgets that we operate on, they are 2%, 3% of the budgets that they are operating on and we are achieving results which are very, very close to them. So, coming to a screen near you soon could be an Oscar-winning Hollywood blockbuster featuring a Made in Bombay credit for the special effects. Steven Spielberg, watch out. <laughs>